Moving on with the section for the max and min of a quadratic, we're told that this function here represents the price of an item where x is the number of units sold in millions. Determine the maximum revenue. Okay, so this here, I wanna make a note that this is the price function. Another name for this is the demand function. You may wanna write that down. So whenever you see a question mentioning the demand function, they're talking about a price function, same thing. Now they're asking for us to determine the maximum revenue. Now notice that this is a price function, it's not a revenue function. But what is a revenue function equal to? Revenue is always equal to the price of an item times the number of units sold. So in this case, we already know what the price function is, is this here, negative 0.04x plus 12 but we need something for the number of units. And notice how X is the number of units sold. It's in millions, but the number of units is just represented by X. So this here is the revenue function, the price function multiplied by X, the number of units sold. And now they're asking for the maximum revenue. What we can do, multiple ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna distribute the x inside the bracket, so we'll have negative 0.4x squared plus 12x. So let's, uh, let's rewrite that up here, actually. So we got r equals negative 0.4x squared plus 12x. And now with this revenue function, we have to find the maximum revenue, so let's complete the square. So we can factor out a negative 0.4 from both of these. So we'd have x squared minus 12 divided by negative 0.4 gives us negative 30, uh, negative 30x rather, like that. So then we would take negative 30 divided by two, negative 15, square it, that gives us 225. So we'd have r equals negative 0.4 x squared minus 30 x plus 225 minus 225 like that. And then continuing on, we take out the negative 225 from the bracket, multiply it by negative uh, 0.4 outside. So we'd have negative 0.4x squared minus 30x plus 225. Negative 225 times negative 0.4 gives us positive 90. And then this here, this bracket is gonna factor into x minus 15 squared plus 90. Vertex here is 15 and 90. So this 15 million units sold gives us a max revenue of 90 million. That's what this vertex means with this function here. So really what they were asking for is this part, the maximum revenue of 90 million, just the Y value. But sometimes they'll also ask you how many units have to be sold in order to maximize revenue? And the answer is 15 million, because remember, this is in millions. So you don't just put 15, you gotta put 15 million units sold. Same thing with the Y, so the max revenue of 90 million. So that there is your final answer to this question.